Look who got a haircut. Hey there crafter and welcome to my channel. Today in this tutorial Tuesday, I'm going to show you how I'm taking these two sad plant pots and I'm gonna turn them into something hopefully really cool. I haven't decided if I'm going to turn these into decor pieces, like I'll put the plants back in them. I'm kind of leaning away from that. I might just turn them into storage, but I'm gonna show you how I take these from drab to fab. So the first thing I'm going to do is get these flowers out of the pots because they're kind of just sad looking. There's like a dead ladybug in the side of this one and the foam is all deteriorated and gross. So we're gonna get these plants out and I might save them. But let's get the pots ready so I can actually craft with them. All right, I think these are just gonna pull out but I don't know if it's gonna make a big mess or not. So I've got a trash can ready here. Oh my goodness, this is kind of gross. That didn't work the way I thought it would. Yeah, it's pretty gross. I think I'm gonna get a ruler and just kind of loosen it up and pull it out on the sides. And like, what is this? Somebody shoved like a medicine or cough drop packet in there. That's so gross. Gross, it was a Benadryl. This is like, gross and disintegrating my hands are changing color it's fine it's so close to coming out and i think there's like a block of wood under here as well if i can get just one of these chunks out then i think the whole thing will go oh here we go here we go Oh, huh, and there is a little like stone thingy in the bottom. This is kind of weird and kind of cool. All right, one down, one more to go. Kind of made a mess here in the bathroom. I did get all the styrofoam out, yay, but the problem is it's super staticky. So I gotta finish cleaning this up and then we will get to part two. All right, I'm back. We've got these emptied, but there's styrofoam everywhere. So I'm gonna take these pieces and put them in a bag so that way the little styrofoam that's still on them doesn't get spread everywhere. And then we're gonna have to do something about this work surface. And now that I have them cleaned out and ready, I want to paint them, but I need to put some paint clothes on. Much better. So the next thing I want to do is paint these so then I can prepare to decorate them. But I was definitely planning to paint the outside, but since the inside of these are so icky, and since I've got the black marks from whatever was in here all over the outside, I'm gonna paint the outside of these pots and the insides just to kind of cover everything up. So let's get that done. All right, I guess I'm just, whoa. This sounds really liquidy. This is like water in here or something. I literally think someone added water to this paint. Maybe not. Ooh, it smells strong. Like, look at how runny that is. But we're gonna use that as the paint palette while I paint the inside of this one. And this is a dried out paintbrush. That's so weird. Your paint's not supposed to do that. All right, I'm gonna let this one dry and then I'm gonna get the last little bit down here and the underside in a bit. Let's get this guy done. I wanna get the inside of this one painted. All right, after much trial and error and drying time, we have these pots fully painted. And you can see here I did the inside because it was just kind of gross on the insides. So now at least it's contained. And there's some like thick spots from glue that was left in there, but I don't care. I think it's so much better than what it was. So this one, I'm thinking I'm going to do like a basket weave pattern. And this one, I don't really know what I'm doing with it. Let's start with this guy here. So with this one, my thinking is to do this like light tan on it to make it look like a basket weave kind of pattern. And to stamp it, I've got an old kitchen sponge that I'm gonna cut up and just make a nice rectangle. But I'm gonna save the rest of this. I'm gonna just cut this end here off. All 
All right, this looks like a pretty good size to me. I'm gonna just like stamp it and turn it different directions and hopefully create like a basket weave pattern. Okay, this paint's watery too. I think someone messed with these and must have watered those ones down. Let me grab a different thing of paint. All right, so I'm gonna start with a little bit of yellow here. I just a drop of brown to it to make hopefully a nice tan. Yeah, it's a close enough match. All right, here we go. I'm gonna start along the bottom. This isn't gonna go all the way. It also looks more like brickwork than a basket pattern. Plus I've got that one side that has the weird hole. I'm gonna stamp over those on the other side. There we go, let's keep carrying it over this way. So once this dries, I'm gonna actually go ahead and add some more detail. I'm gonna add some like shadowing to the little square so that way it looks more like shaded in. All right, my pots have finished drying from their first run of paint and I've already started working on this. What I'm doing is I'm going and adding in basically some shadows to kind of make it look like it's a basket weave where they're actually like going underneath each other. So the way I'm doing that is I've got this paint that I mixed up that I decided I didn't want to use. And I just have this, you know, cheap little brush here and I'm getting just a little bit on my brush and then kind of dabbing it off so I'm kind of almost dry brushing. And at basically the long ends, I'm kind of doing almost like a C shape. So I'm kind of long on the sides and short in the middle. That's a little heavy there. See the other end, I'm trying to get it as open and kind of streaky as possible. So I'm kind of dry brushing it on there. And I'm gonna do this on all the little rectangles all the way around. All right, so I've gone through and added the shadows and I gotta be honest, like on camera, I think it looks pretty good, but when I look at it in person, it doesn't look quite the way I wanted to from a distance. I think it looks like a basket weave pattern, but up close, it just kind of looks random. So as a last effort to try to make this look right, I'm gonna trace out the little rectangles with a Sharpie. And other, if this doesn't work out, then that's just how it's gonna be, or maybe I'll repaint it totally differently. Cause you know, sometimes DIYs don't work out and that is okay. But when they don't work out, I like to just keep throwing stuff at it until maybe something works. I don't know, that, okay, in person it makes it look a little better. I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not. Well, I'm gonna finish the other sides and then we will see how it turns out. And here is the finished look. I think I'm going to store some of my makeup in there. So for this one, here's what I've got that I want to incorporate. I've got these three paint colors. They just kind of struck my fancy when I was going through the random paints I have. I have this amazing sparkle glitter tape and I have these sunflowers. So my thinking is I'm gonna do, I kind of want to do these two. We'll revisit this one. I think I'm gonna do the body of the pot, this blue, and then the rim, this pink. So I'm just gonna get on another sponge brush and paint that on there. And then I'll add the tape and I'll hot glue on the flowers once it dries. I have an idea, we'll see if this works or if I make a bigger mess. Set it on this cup. Now it's raised up and I can finish painting it. And now we will let this also dry. I think what I'm gonna do, got my glue gun heating up and I'm gonna take these and glue this around the like top here, around the pink part. Oh, that looks so cute. Oh, and perfectly it lines up so well. I'm gonna cut this here. So I'm gonna do that around the top. And then I have these fun sparkly tapes and I think I'm gonna use the gold and do some kind of like zigzag pattern or something. 
I got these and I'm super excited to use them because they're so cute. So the trick is I've got to watch because these have like a front and a back. So I got to make sure that I have the correct side facing out. I think I'm going to glue every one of these on here, honestly. So cute. I love these little sunflowers. All right, so the last thing I wanna do is put my gold tape on here. What I'm thinking is if I just do like diagonals, but it's gonna curve if I do a diagonal cause like it gets narrower, so it's gonna curve more. So I'm gonna just do, cause I could just do stripes from the bottom coming up. That might be kind of cute. Let's start from the bottom and let's just see how they spiral up. Looks cute. Okay, spacing so far is good. I should probably be like measuring this because I'm gonna end up with six going around. Okay, that's cute. I think I should do like going the other direction though. Like if I can go criss, well, if I crisscross from here to here. Okay, now it looks like a nutcracker if I do that. I kind of like it. Oh, it's so cute! I don't know if it's weird that the ones are like angled more. Cause it definitely has a lean like, you know. I think it's kind of cute. I think I love it. But honestly, how could you not? And here we go. These are the upgraded versions of our flower pot plants. Flower pot, of our, fla of our plant pots. Flower plant, Plant. Da, 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 da. And here we have it. These are the upgraded versions of our plant pots. Personally, I think these are so much better than what they were before. This one I'm going to be using to store some like makeup and stuff on the bathroom counter. Just keep it contained. It's kind of in this cute little bucket here. And then with this one, I think I want to crochet something to put in there. Like some like little flowers to put in here. I've got some other fake flowers I might stick in here for in the meantime. But of course I could also use this as like to hold pens, to hold crochet hooks, something like that. And of course I think this is so much cuter than it was with the really sad looking, dusty, gross greenery that was in here before. But that's what I have for this week. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you wanna see when I post new content. Happy crafting. Fun story time about the sparkly tape I used in this video. I bought it at Hobby Lobby. It was part of their Christmas stuff that was on sale. I brought it home and then the next day I opened the bag and the tape was gone. And I looked everywhere, I dug through the car, went through the whole house, could not find it. I even called the store and the worker was great. They pulled up like security camera footage and verified that yes, it made it into the bag. And then I thought I just lost it. And I was like, how did I lose it? And then finally I found it because I realized I forgot I had unpacked it already. So that was really smart.